Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Look out Ruger, look out Smith & Wesson, because your buddy Dan Wesson's coming for you. That's right, Dan Wesson has sent me to review the Dan Wesson Model 15 357 38 revolver. I've only had a moment to really handle it. I haven't shot it yet, but so far it's pretty impressive. As you can see, full shroud under the barrel, which is a pretty cool look, I think. Some people like it, some people don't. I think it's pretty damn neat. Uh, you're looking at six round capacity, 38 or 357. This Model 15 is all stainless steel. Of course, double action, single action. It's got adjustable sights. And it looks like it comes with a Hogue grip as well, which is really going to do good at sapping up that recoil. Uh, this thing's not very lightweight. Uh, you're not going to conceal carry this thing. I don't know, maybe you will, but um, I wouldn't. It seems pretty well made, and I've got number 28, serial number 28, right here for your review today on TFB TV. Anyways, I'll go over the specs with you real quick. We'll take this thing out to the range, and I'll let you know how it shoots. The Dan Wesson 715 is a 357 Magnum revolver, which of course also accepts 38 Special. It's got a six round capacity. It's made out of 416 stainless steel, and it weighs a chunky 46 ounces right out of the box. But on the upside, that ought to really cut down on the recoil. MSRP is $1,168, and it comes with adjustable target sights and a six inch barrel. One thing that's also really cool about this gun is the ability to use the older Dan Wesson uh, 15 series revolver barrels, as well as newer barrels being produced by Dan Wesson. In fact, they're also producing the Dan Wesson 715 pistol pack, which includes the revolver and three barrels, a four inch, a six inch, and an eight inch. You can actually change the barrels out. They give you a tool in the box and you can change the barrels out without a gunsmith. I really have nothing bad to say about this gun, but I was a little taken aback by the price. Now, granted, Dan Wesson has a great reputation. I'm glad they're relaunching this line, but MSRP is 1200 bucks on this gun. I went, uh, just checked online to try to find one best price I could find was a grand and uh, most places are selling them for 1100 bucks uh, really close to MSRP. Okay guys we've got the Dan Wesson Model 15 at the range. This is going to be my first time shooting it. As you can see it has somewhat of an unorthodox cylinder release here. The cylinder latch is forward of the cylinder and you press it downwards. It's got that instead of the traditional cylinder release that is behind the cylinder um, and you, you press that forward with your dominant thumb. Here, you press it down with your supporting thumb and slide the cylinder out like that. I don't know how I feel about that. I can take it or leave it. I mean, it's fine. I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's worse. Okay, we're gonna ease into this with some 38 Special. We're not gonna jump right on in 357 Magnum. Let's see how this thing takes these tame little 38 rounds. All right, Dan, don't let me down. Let me pause it so you guys can check this out real quick. I had the trigger stop up on me. Uh, now it was my fault, but I will say it's pretty easy. I just did it there. It's pretty easy, there it is again, to not let this trigger reset all the way. If you don't let it reset all the way, the entire way, it'll lock up just like that. Now maybe that's a byproduct of the fact that this has an extremely efficient and short travel trigger. There's no take up, no creep, no over travel. I mean, when you're pulling the trigger, it's working. And that leads to a really short double action pull that comes in between 12 and 13 pounds, and then about four and a half to five for single action. Yeah, that's like zero recoil. I mean, that's, that's comical. That's like no recoil whatsoever. I'm just gonna blast this time. I'm just gonna cut six loose as fast as I can, see what happens, double action. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, another thing I have to mention, it feels like the, 
the travel on the double action trigger it feels shorter than uh, what I'm used to. It's got a little over travel stop on here too. I don't know if that helps, but um, I don't know what Dan Wesson's done here to make this actually a pretty, I, I think it clocked in at around 11 pounds, 11 or 12 pounds for the double action. And then when I used my uh, trigger gauge, I think it clocked in at around four, four and a half for the single action. Um, trigger's excellent, double action or single action. They're both good. I'm gonna do uh, another six rounds of 38 and then we'll step it up to 357, see if it's still that mild. Cylinder's starting to get kind of hot now that I've run about a box through this thing. All right, guys, let's try out this Dan Wesson Model 15 with the 357 Magnum instead of using the 38. Now, I wouldn't call myself a revolver expert, but if I had to guess, it's going to be a little bit more harder recoiling than the 38 was. But let's see how much more. Yeah, definitely more recoil. That should surprise no one. But uh, that said, still very manageable. Now, that was nothing like the 38. Like I said, shooting that 38 was like shooting a laser gun. The 357, you definitely feel a lot more oomph. You feel there's a lot more muzzle blast, there's a lot more recoil, but it is definitely manageable in this gun. So uh, for those of you who are recoil sensitive, but you still want to get a 357, the Dan Wesson 15 might be the ticket for you um, because it's really not that bad, especially for such a powerful round. Um, let me zip a few more through here, see how it works. Not bad. For the hell of it, let's do 357, 38, 357, 38, three and three, uh, alternating in each of the chambers of the cylinder. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I mean, there's no recoil from the 38 whatsoever. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. That's intense, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's like no recoil whatsoever uh, for these 38 rounds. Um, nothing, no kick, no nothing. Um, that's fun. So I'm gonna do the uh, interchanging 38, 357, 38, 357, three of each again, just because that was so fun. Um, have a look at the difference in the recoil. That's hysterical. But uh, either way, uh, the recoil's really not that bad. Um, the 38's nothing, the 357's manageable. And you see that I've been shooting this double action pretty much the whole time. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this gun where it feels like the length of travel is a lot shorter than most guns in this class. I, I think that Dan Wesson may have a very competitive revolver on their hands here with the Model 15. Um, because this is, I mean, it, this is a good gun. It looks good. It performs well. It's accurate. It's been functional, reliable. Um, I mean, it, it, there's nothing that, that I would really do to improve on this. So good job, Dan Wesson. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Hey, guys, it's Alex again with TFB TV. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, we've actually just launched a Patreon page. If you could consider donating a dollar or two a month, it would really help us out and allow us to continue doing this. And uh, we like doing it, and we hope you enjoy watching the videos. Until next time.